when I do look around, I see the right type of people here. I see people that are, if you look around, it's like people that are 25, 26, probably like looking at buying their first home, tired of renting. But when you start working, you start realizing that like, hey man, like I need to, my rent to go very far for me. And how do I make my rents go far? So, uh, I mean, like I, I started DJing when I was 14. Um, and then like when I was, uh, I think like 21, 22, I, I started making like, real money or what I thought was a lot of money at the time um, and then in like 2009 I started asking the question that like what happens when I'm not cool as uh, euphonic as the DJ uh, what happens when people don't like me what happens when I like don't get booked to play music anymore like what happens like how can I make money while I'm sleeping you know what I'm saying and how can I uh, turn the money that I'm currently making into like a into a, a real and proper investment where I actually grow it without losing anything and when I was asking like the question to a lot of people in doing the research property was the one thing that came out at number one it was the thing with the highest uh, uh, barrier of entry but the, the the thing that actually created the biggest amount of, of wealth so I thought you know what, like let me rather focus on this and start that so that's how I got involved I don't think the youth understand uh, the difference between active and passive income um, and particularly because of the information that's out there and how the information is is, is, is shared you know so it only takes you like actually getting involved in it and understanding that like no actually like it's money that I make when I'm not doing anything Th then then it makes sense but otherwise there's a lot of jargon and terms that are thrown around that like the layman doesn't understand so it's just like I mean like I do property talks all the time and like the, the, the number one reason why I do them is because when I started investing there was a lot of jargon that just like threw me off a lot of things so like when you simplify it and put it into layman's terms then people understand what is the actual difference? One of my biggest agendas is to get uh, South African youth, particularly black youth, to uh, start opening their eyes to property and start understanding how to invest in property. And obviously, like when you understand it from a very, very young age, it makes it easier when you're older, um, for when you are ready to get involved. So at the moment, it's just embarking the knowledge, sharing the knowledge and uh, trying to make people understand that uh, the importance of property and the imp and how it fits into wealth building.